This is one action which is good to preach, good to say, good to feel, good to discuss also. But this is not one regular action that is actually implemented in our day to day lives. We have heard it from our childhood in from the holy verses, from people around us, from our teachers also. Do not hurt anybody's belief system or faith or religion. We have to keep one thing in our mind that unifying force knows that he is that one supreme power and all the human beings whatever faith they have for say even an atheist if he is not believing in anything he is believing in something because without belief and without faith human cannot exist so even if somebody says that I have many wellness clients who whom we do spiritual practice together, who we do crystal healings together and they say, no, I'm not a believer. And I keep saying that whenever you say I'm not a believer, this means you are a believer, you believe in something. Even animals who are not blessed with that kind of consciousness, of course, they are blessed with some higher level of consciousness and awareness and alertness that the sixth sense they have that we don't have. But then these kind of consciousness that human beings are blessed with they don't have but still there is no fight between them they all believe in something that supreme power in the form of sixth sense that is floating inside them that is floating within them that is floating within us as well that is floating in the plants as well so how is it that he the unifying force doesn't differentiate between us but we cause grief to one another our religion our belief system our faith and even if someone is an atheist see belief is that one thing that is that keeps us going so it is not possible that human beings are not believers they are survivors do not cause grief to any other believer or any other belief system because by causing grief or taking part in any such conversation that is triggering any such wrong emotions amongst our fellow human is something that is disliked by the Almighty. It's disliked by that supreme power because he has created him and you as well. You, me and everybody is the result of the unifying force that has kept us unified. Where the blunder takes place is when we start thinking that by not hurting any believer or any kind of belief system, we are doing it for that person or for the sake of goodness, for the sake of humanity. We miss out on the point that we are doing it for ourselves because if we send out these kind of emotions out and these kind of energies we radiate, the universe will receive it and will return it to us by multiplying its force. Now this is his kingdom and his rules. Whether we believe or we not believe, there is one supreme power, the uniting force that is uniting all the energy in form of his creation. So in his designed kingdom, the rule will be his and if we go against the rule, say for say, we radiate negativity and hostility, that is his rule that we will get back that from the universe. Now if we expect that, no, it's my life, it's my choice. If I radiate out hostility and I will get a lot of benefits and prosperity in return, then this is not going to happen because our rule is not going to work. Our law is not going to work. It is the universe's law that is going to work. There's this one verse we keep reading in the holy verses, do not cause grief to the believers. Now, what is meant by this? Because there's so many human beings in this world. I can be a believer, you can be a non-believer. We all creatures, including human beings, plants and animals are equal to him. So he will not differentiate. So what does it mean that do not cause grief to the believers? And this is one action which is very much condemned and it's disliked by the almighty the one supreme power that has created us let's understand it this way in a big jungle there was this mother tigress who gave birth to three baby tigers now due to some event three of the children got separated from the mother tigress now those three baby tigers are in different jungle now in search of their mothers because they are very vulnerable and they could not get time to recognize their mother. So they got to meet three different tigresses and now they became their foster mothers. They thought that those tigresses are their mothers. 
and they started taking nourishment from them. Now the three of them grew up, they become adult tigers and when they met they started fighting and saying ill about their foster mothers that your mother is bad, my mother is real, your mother is evil, my mother is true. In this way they began to fight and talk ill about each other's mothers. Now in the process if they harm each other, if they cause grief to each other, will that real mother who has actually given birth to three of them will appreciate this act, will she not feel hurt? Coming to think of it, that mother knows that they are fighting for me. They are actually looking for me, their mother. They are thinking their mothers to be me. So will they appreciate her children fighting for her and fighting on her name and talking ill about each other and uh, causing grief to each other? No. She will not appreciate it, isn't it? Similarly, that one supreme power who has created all of us, who is that one unifying force, will never, never, never appreciate and is this act is completely disliked and hurtful. When we cause grief to each other, this doesn't yield benefit to any of us because this is the law of the universe whatever we radiate out that is one thing we are going to get back and if suppose i am hurting you just how the mother tiger will feel when three of her children are fighting on her name on the name of motherhood and talking ill about each other causing grief to each other similarly the uniting force the supreme power that one creator who has created all of us feels when we fight in the name of religion, faith and belief system, we all need to submit ourselves in obedience of our creator and not fight on the name of our creator. We are radiating out certain energies which are multiplying and returning back to us which is not good for us. Suppose you radiate hostility, this will come back to us multiplying its force and we are empowering satanic energy because as I keep saying there is a big war going on not from now but from even before we came into existence and that is the war between good and the evil. The goodness and the bad, God and Satan, Almighty and that who goes against the will of the Almighty, that is who promotes the bad. Good and bad is in form of energy. You take it in any form, it is formless, it is in the form of energy. We all are in form of energies, but since we are in this material world, we are not recognizing this very fact that we are connected via one unifying cosmic life force floating within us, keeping us going. So we are all believers. The universe created by that supreme power is all receiving. We are all in the form of energy and this one energy uniting us is the pranic energy, the one life force. The universe is all receiving whatever we radiate out in the form of hostility, may it be love, may it be any emotions or any feelings or even thoughts that we radiate out that we throw and give it to the universe it grasps it in one moment and it returns to us in abundance now whatever is in store for us in the universe is abundance positivity and goodness and satanic power energy the evil and bad luck now it depends on us what we want to attract. Whenever we radiate anything to the universe, the universe is all receiving. Not from now but from the point it was created and it was created by that one supreme power that is controlling everything. It is the universe's law that is going to work and take over us. So when we read, do not cause grief to the believers, that actually is something, a message to us from the creator that the creator wants all of us to be united as one uniting force the almighty the supreme power the creator the controller of the universe the life cosmic energy that is floating in our veins that is running all of us everything in and around us wants us to be one unifying force and one united bunch of creatures and 
surrender ourselves in submission to that one supreme almighty who is one the believer gets hurt that's a different thing do not hurt anybody is one practice that is appreciated by our creator because when we do not hurt anybody or when we console somebody who is hurt whom we are making happy is that supreme power who has created me and you both okay so this action if put into practice regularly within 3 months we see the kind of results that changes our lives this is something which we have heard from our childhood from the holy verses from our teachers from anybody and everybody but this is something we do not practice please try and implement this one action in your daily lives now many people say that they are not causing grief to anybody they are not uh, talking any such thing that will cause uh, hurt or grief to anybody now this is not always direct promoting any such activity or any such conversation or say any such group having a discussion on such kind of subject even if you are a silent participator in any such kind of a conversation you are actually participating in causing grief to others this is one thing that we immediately need to stop because this is something that keeps bringing bad luck and loss in our lives that we don't even realize you know our small activities people say that what do we do to avoid bad luck what do we do that negativity goes out of our lives there are people always go for big courses and big even in my empowerment coaching classes spiritual healing sessions what we do is we make the belief system that is the alertness and the sixth sense that is not in any form of religious belief whatever you believe in is your matter whatever i believe in whatever i follow in what i call god who is god to me is my personal belief in those spiritual classes what we do is we empower that sixth sense we empower that alertness within us the supreme aura the supreme force that is controlling our aura and reaching our own highest supreme self is the motive behind spiritual classes that we do now here there is one point in such classes also i make sure that the wellness client i'm dealing with implements this and puts this thing into practice not causing grief to any believer anybody who is believing in something is that believer even if a person says i am an atheist i don't believe in god he is also believing in something that one power knows that every human being is going through their share of struggle that is between that supreme power and that particular human being and whoever is worshiping worshiping whoever is worshiping any form of say power energy or anybody calls anything god the actual journey towards the person is walking towards the almighty the person the human being is struggling he is in his quest he is in his spiritual journey of finding the almighty reaching the almighty pleasing that supreme power who has created him